Okay guys, so first things first, if you haven't seen my reaction to the latest My Hero Academia episode, go ahead and do yourself a favor and watch that. The episode, definitely 10 out of 10. By far the best animated episode of My Hero Academia to date. It's just visually stunning, definitely had me captivated the whole time, it went trending on Twitter and all this bro. It's been a whole two days and I'm still thinking about that episode, definitely, definitely worth the watch if you haven't watched it yet. But besides that, you already read the title. You know the vibes for today, and that's right, we back here again with some more Mugen. And I know what some of you guys are probably thinking, you're like, Ivory, I know Deku got a shine and everything in the last episode, but didn't you already do a specific Mugen video for Deku? And you would be right, I already did a video focusing on Deku in Mugen, and for the people that watched that video, you would know that I also mentioned that I had another Deku Mugen, and that is the Mugen that you see here today. This is basically the upgraded, up-to-date version of Deku that features the spoiler that you know got released in the last episode the infinite 100 percent the 20 percent all that stuff so this is the new and improved deku right here and we are going to put this deku up against some more anime characters because if you remember in the last deku mugen video uh that boy deku did uh he, did, he didn't do so good so hopefully the new and improved version does a lot better today than the last one because if it doesn't I'm actually going to be very sad. So for our first match, Deku, we have him going up against Killua. And the reason why is because the first matchup against the, the previous Deku Mugen was gone. So I just felt like it was a little fitting. So Killua is up against the improved Deku version. And Killua already went God's PC. Okay, so you can tell right off the bat, you know, this Deku has a lot more flair, a lot more animations. You see all that text popping up right now? And also this one, oh my god, Killua just took his heart though. He's dead. <laughs> but um, you can see here that Deku just went 20% they're already right off the bat just you know going in with, with each other and I would have to say this is Kilo's speed is insane it's absolutely like fucking out of, out of there right now um Deku's damage though is extremely good like you can see like some of Deku's just normal attacks right now are doing a hell of a lot of damage but once Kilo goes into god speed form um, Kilo is just fast as hell right now, and okay, Deku, our boy, won the first round. I don't know why the hell he's so loud, though. He's screaming all the time, and honestly, guys, I still can't stop thinking about that last episode of My Hero Academia. Bones really came through. They really got Jesus himself to animate that. That, that boy, Kilo, right now, though, is getting clapped up. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the episode, if you think it is one of the best episodes of My Hero, what you thought of the animations and everything, and personally, I just, I don't know, I'm still blown away. Okay, and Deku just <laughs> obliterated Killua in the second round. Like, you can see, you, you can tell already. I mean, I don't want to get too hyped up because the previous Deku Mugen did win against Gon in the first round, but we just got to see what this one got in store for us. All right, next we got Edward from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And uh, Edward is new. I just added him. So I really haven't seen too much of his Mugen. Um, but I am very familiar with this Deku Mugen. I did try him out a little bit just to make sure, you know, everything was up to date and there's no, like, actual other spoilers in it. But this a Deku Mugen is totally up to date right now. Like, there shouldn't be anything that I'm missing. Um, I don't know why his suit is red, though. I would say that. Um, because on the preview of the Mugen, his suit is normal. Like, his suit is green. So I don't know if it's just maybe... They changed the color by accident or it's a glitch, but his suit is just red, so I'm sticking with it. I kind of like it, and he just absolutely destroyed Edward. I, th that first round went by quick as hell, but Edward has some pretty cool um, pretty cool moves. I, I mean, I've seen a little bit of it, like the lightning. That was really cool. That was really dope right there. Okay, yo. Yo, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is definitely one of those animes that I feel like you have to watch, man. It's just, it's just, it's such a low-hanging fruit to, to put in your, you know, top a animes of all time, bro. Like, you just have to watch it. But yeah, definitely. Um, okay, I think that's one of his ulties right there. So, Jesus Christ, see, that wasn't his full ulti, though. So, Edward, okay, Ed Edward's dead. Deku won the second. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. yo, we cannot sleep on Deku no more. Dude, this dude is popping off right now. All right, Goku against Deku. Um, in my honest opinion, I still think Doku would, I said Doku, Jesus Christ. Goku would clap up Midoriya, but, um, you know, you, you love to see it. I want to see a battle. I want to see if Goku will actually transform. Because so far, Midoriya, I mean, he's been transforming a couple times, but, you know, it's, it's, it hasn't been nothing too, too special. Goku, he just doesn't like transforming whenever I use him. But, you know, when he's against the characters that I put him up against, he loves transforming, man. He has not transformed into uh, Ultra Instinct yet. I think the high, highest he's transformed is blue. 
He's not transforming the Ultra Instinct by his own. 20%, that's cool. 20% is cool. Oh, we can go Kyle Ken? I didn't even know this Goku could go Kyle Ken. I thought he just goes to Super Saiyan. Why would he go to Kyle Ken, though? I mean, that's a cool ass state. I didn't even know he can do that. That's actually really dope. I did not even know this Goku can do that. Wow. Shit, the more you know. I think Goku stays in that state, too. Okay, no, he doesn't. He doesn't stay in that state, but it's interesting how he stays in Super Saiyan. Speaking of Goku, the closer that Dragon Ball Z Kakarot gets here, the more excited I am starting to get for it. Because but before I was okay. Oh, my. Okay, let me shut up real quick because Deku just absolutely demolished Goku. He actually won against Goku. Okay, never mind. Oh, I guess that's canon, guys. Shit. Mugen said so. I didn't I didn't say it. The Mugen gods decided on that. All right, two of my favorite characters in their both respective animes going up against each other. Man, I don't know. I would have been mad if either one won, honestly. Okay, we're already going 20%. Deku's been going 20% a lot right now. Okay, Planetary Devastation. That move is some cheese, bro. That does so much damage. Okay, Deku, I mean, uh, Deku, yeah, yeah, Deku is getting destroyed right now by Sasuke. So far in Mugen, I have not seen a single, I guess, perfect, like, around where... Oh, he just went in! Oh, he just went 100! Let's go, Deku! Look at that, bro! Oh, he just went 100! Oh, my God. I mean, shit, we barely got... I mean, we saw it for a little bit, but damn, bro. Oh, my God. He actually went... Yo, you saw when he went infinite 100 right there, bro? Literally, I could not even see him. Like, Sasuke was getting clapped up real quick. I mean, he lost that round still, but we still got to see it right then. Okay, I got, I got, yo, I'm hyped for that, bro. I'm hyped, I'm hyped. I mean, I, I, I don't even care that Sasuke wins this, bro. De I mean, at least Deku, you know, showed his infinite 100 for just for a little bit. Just for a little bit, but he still showed it. I just think that Sasuke Mugen does hell, oh, like so much damage, man. It just does so much damage. Okay, so maybe Deku needs to go into his 20% state to go into... Um, 100. I'm not even mad that Sasuke won that because we got to see that, uh, that, that Deku 100%, bro. Alright, keeping it real, um, Sans, <laughs> he's pretty broken. Sans is broken in Undertale and he is broken in Mugen. Uh, you know, it, you, you love to see it, bro. Um, Sans is definitely a fun character to see play, though. Uh, he's a really cool Mugen. Keeping it real, I, I, I don't really think anybody can really beat Sans. Um, oh, I lied. I take that back. Never mind. Deku does a lot of damage to him. Damn, Deku, I lied. Okay, Deku, Deku just, <laughs> Deku just won. Never mind. Let me shut up real quick. Deku is really showing up in this Mugen right now, bro. He ain't giving no fucks, man. Damn, hopefully he can go infinite again, though. I think that he has to go into his 20% state first, if I'm not wrong. 20%, there we go. 20%, charge up again. 100, 100. Can Deku go 100? Damn, bro, Sans, you know, chill out for a little bit, bro. Let me go 100. Look at that. Look at that cheese, bro. That's so cheese, man. Oh, my God, dude. That's Sans Mugen. Jesus Christ, dude. It's cheese. I mean, he's so cool, but man, dude. Sans also has just, like, like, like so much, like, ranged attacks. Like, the attacks just come in from, like, everywhere, bro. He can throw bones. He got the gaster blasters. He has bones here, bones there, bro. Yeah, like I feel like once Deku gets Sans in the corner, though, um, Deku definitely uh, would win. But look at that, bro. Like, look how many attacks Sans just throws out at one time, dude. Like, let's see. Like now, Deku. Like now, Sans. Okay, never mind. Okay, come on. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so that was a really. Really close match right there. Deku almost lost that, but Deku wins again, bro. All right, Luffy. Let's see what you got, man, against Deku. So I, I do think that Deku does have to go into his 20% state um, for him to go into his 100% state. I mean, that, it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, I mean, sometimes, you know, you I, like with the Sands, like they, they literally can just jump to like Super Saiyan God if they wanted to, so... Um, I believe that Deku does have to go into his 20% state first, though. I might be wrong, though. He might prove me wrong, but it feels like that's the pattern so far. Um, so far, though, Deku is definitely clapping up Luffy. Luffy has, like, no health right now. Deku just needs to, like... Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was about to say, Deku just needs to, like, flick him real quick, and then he's dead. Okay, there we go. That Emperor's Hockey is really dope. It's, like, the same... That, I, I think that's, like, the same effect as, like, the Renegon right there uh, in this Mugen. Okay, 20%. There we go. Now he just needs to charge a little bit. If we can just charge a little bit, I think we're going to see the 100 in a second or, or not or not deku that's fine too i mean you can do some specials that's cool that's cool you can just do some combos right there okay deku that works too luffy is dead luffy is gone bro deku is taking everybody out today man he don't give a fuck today okay this might be a little a little bit much for deku uh because jiren is absolutely overpowered but you never know 
That my that man Deku. Okay, I think he just. Oh my God, yo! I, I never get used to Jiren's aura being like that, bro. That's insane. Okay, twenty percent again. Are we get, are we going to see one hundred? Deku, you need a hundred for Jiren, bro. I'm sorry, man. You just need to go hundred for Jiren. Damn, Jiren's gonna do his ulti. That's gone. It, that's game. Jiren's ulti. That's game right there. Look at that man. Jiren is. Yo, Jiren. Look how much damage that did. Oh my God, Jiren. Oh, Deku was not ready. Oh my God, Jiren, bro. This Mugen is so broken. Yeah, I don't think Deku is ready for Jiren. I don't think anybody is ready for Jiren. So far, nobody I put Jiren up against. Jiren has not lost one round that um, I put um, him up against. His aura and everything, man. Deku, please. Full cow 20. You need 100, bro. I'm sorry. You need it. You need it, bro. That's not going to work, man. Your, your 20 is not going to work against Jiren. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deku. Look at this, bro. Jiren is just playing with him right now. Jiren, is, Jiren wasn't even touching it and he was getting hit by those hits. All right, Deku, this is your last chance, bro. You just need to go 20 and then you need to go 100. Deku, what are you going to do here, bro? What are you going to do here, Deku? We're just charging up. What are you going to do? Oh, he just went... Did he just go 20% again? All right, Deku, you're just dead. I don't know why you just did that, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, I'm going to continue pushing Deku's limits. So I want to see exactly how powerful he can become. All right, Saitama, he's back here for some more cheese. This bald-headed ass man. Um, I want to see actually how well Saitama will do against this Deku. They're pretty similar in terms of move sets. They both have like range, like punch, shock waves. That you know, they both hit really hard. They both do a lot of damage. But I want to see exactly can can Deku win against it. So far, it's looking pretty good. I just really hope that Deku, you know, he, he you know, don't pull a Goku and don't transform on us, man. Like, bro. I don't, I don't want to, to face someone up against you, and then you just start going into infinite 100% against against them. We need you to be a Vegeta out here, bro. Just transform whenever you get the chance. Okay, so there we go. Deku won the first round. There we go. He's, he's still loud as hell. Why do you keep yelling, bro? But let me know down below, guys. Who is your favorite character in My Hero Academia? Hopefully, Deku can pull out this win, because I don't I don't need Saitama to be making a comeback right now. There we go, Deku. Show him what's good. Come on, come on. You got this. You got this. That's it. That's game. That's game. All right, Deku, you won. I mean, already off the bat, this Deku is doing way, way better up against, like, some of these other characters. Because the other Deku, he won the first round and then just, he just started flopping, bro. That man Bakugo never got to see Midoriya fuck up overhaul. So, <laughs> he gets to see exactly how good Deku is now. Because uh, Bakugo won against the other Deku Mugen. But let's see how Bakugo faces up against the new and improved Deku. Um, so far, it looks like Bakugo is getting absolutely demolished right now jesus christ deku said deku don't give a fuck again yo bakugo is done bro that man bakugo is dead that round lasted like a couple seconds let this man breathe midoriya let bakugo breathe man yo midoriya got some pent-up aggression in him man he's definitely just taking that all out on bakugo right now a lot of people still like really like bakugo personally i mean i like bakugo i don't really have anything up against him i just nothing really warrants him being my favorite character though honestly like i mean like no, he, nothing's really happened to where like i can say like yeah de yeah bakugo is definitely my favorite character after this like there was some development but i feel like just deku is just He's just better, honestly. Like, dude, that damage. He's gonna do the ulti again. Yo, he finishes with the ulti. That's sick, though. Okay, so he won that one against Baku. These are some quick rounds. Deku really isn't wasting no time at all with these people. Can I also get an F in the comments for that 7 Deadly Sins Season 3, bro? That animation is still making me sad. So, in honor of that, let's have Meliodas fight against that man, Deku. Because Deku, <laughs> Deku got a shine with some good animation, but Meliodas did not get the same treatment. So hopefully, something good can come out of them fighting together in this Mugen. Meliodas is actually a pretty good Mugen. Once he transforms, especially. Once Meliodas transforms, he is extremely good, I believe. Uh, but Meliodas decides not to transform. Oh, I lied. He, he, go, he went into his demon aura right there. So I think this Meliodas has three transformations, I believe, I want to say. But Deku, you know, still clapped him up right there. Good shit. But man, dude, that's seven deadly sins, bro. I don't know if, if there's a season four. I, I mean, you guys told me that Studio Dean, um, like, gave it to, like, or outsourced it to, like, some other studio out there somewhere. I, I really, I don't know, man. I would love seven deadly to get some good treatment, man, because it, it's, it's hard, man. I don't even know if I want to watch it anymore, but, you know, I, I have hope for it still, I guess. Oh, God. Okay, is that, that, 
Okay, never mind. That was that was Meliodas' ultimate. Jesus. Jesus, man. Actually, that didn't even do a lot of damage, if I'm being honest. Um, one thing about Deku, I kind of, I'm kind of digging this red suit that he has, bro. I'm honestly kind of digging it, man. I mean, I, I, I fucks with his, his green suit a lot, and especially when he has the blue hair and infinite, bro. I, I really fucks with it, but this red suit ain't too bad either, man. I, I could, you know, I could actually, you know, get down with it if he actually had that can canonically. Okay, well, Meliodas won the second round. Hopefully, Deku can pull through with the, the final. Now, Meliodas wants to prove that that Deku right now, that, hey, bro, I might not have good animation, but, hey, I can still throw some hands. I, I, I can respect Meliodas for that. I can definitely respect Meliodas for that. He doesn't stop, though. He's, he's mad aggressive. Okay, there we go. Smash. Deku, please. You gotta go something, bro. That grab that Meliodas does is actually really nasty, too. Okay, Deku, you just missed with that, what, with one of your specials. You gonna do the ulti again? Actually, Deku might be dead. Deku is dead. He is dead again. I mean, honestly, I'm cool with that. Meliodas, I feel like you deserve that just for the animation. All right, we got that man Escanor here. Escanor's Mugen is absolutely disgusting, bro. In honor of Seven Deadly Sins once again for the animation, bro. Let's see Escanor in action. Um, keeping it real, Escanor pro basically obliterates anybody I put him up against. Uh, and he, he talks a lot, so uh, Jesus, come, come on. I, I kind of feel for Deku. I feel like he'll get clapped up. Um, Escanor... His ultis and his specials do so much damage and they cover, like, basically the whole map. Like, look at that, bro. Like, that f the fire and everything, man. Yo, Escanor is really uh, really good. Really good, though. Oh, he's gonna go with ulti. Okay, there we go, Deku. There we go, Deku. That's still not enough for to take out Escanor, though. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's still not enough, bro. I'm sorry. That's just not enough to take out Escanor. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, we could use 20% against Escanor, but we need that 100. We need that 100, bro. Deku, please, yo, call up Aerie real quick, bro. Okay, there we go. Oh, he won, though. Deku won, though. Okay, hold on, hold on. Deku might prove me wrong here. I honestly thought Escanor was kind of like a Jiren, where Jiren basically just destroys you. But keeping it real, Escanor really hasn't used any of his specials or ultis. Okay, there we go. Got that 20%. Can we go 100? Can we go 100 right here? Escanor, you cuck, bro. You cuck. Come on, bro. Let me go that 100 real quick. Come on, Deku. Deku. He yeah, see? This is what I'm talking about with his ulti. He literally just sits here with this big ass son waiting for Deku to die. Look, Deku can't even do anything. His ultis are definitely like, they're so extra, bro. Like, look at that. All that for the. It does a lot of damage, too. Look at that, man. All that for this. Please. God damn it, dude. Oh, he went to his infinite. Okay, there we go, Deku. There we go, Deku. Look at that against Escanor. Oh, shit. Bro, he did it again. Yo. <laughs> Yo, you saw it clearly there, though. You saw it clearly. So that wasn't his ultimate, though. That was just a little little taste. Um, If Deku doesn't show his ultimate, though, I will show uh, his his 100% um, ultimate at the end of the video. Okay, so Deku does not have to go into 20% then to trigger the, uh, the what's it called? The infinite 100% right there. He just... He just decides he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to be absolutely broken. I actually want Deku to win this though, um, because this Escanor, I feel like that's just such a big win. Because so far Deku's won against like a, a vast majority of very very good Mugens. He can't take Jiren on or Deku so far. Okay, Deku, oh, Deku, you got this, man. I hate you, Escanor, bro. You're so. Oh my god, dude, with your extra ass attacks, dude. I don't know why Escanor is es like. Okay, I don't know why. Look at all this, bro! Like, he has full-on cutscenes for his ultimates! For his specials, bro, come on! Really? My guy, I'm not trying to get a seizure. Jesus Christ, Escanor. There we go. De Deku, Deku, get him in the com- Get him in the combo! Get him- Yo, yo, yo! Deku, Deku, you got this, you got this! One hit! One hit each! Who's gonna win? Deku! Deku won! Let's go, Escanor! Let's go! Deku! Let's go! Let's go! How does Meliodas take you? Oh my... Yo! Yo, that's gas right there, man. That is gas right there, bro. Jesus! Okay, guys, but I think that's gonna be it for the Mugen video. You can already... You, you saw. You saw the results. You saw the proof. Deku took out a vast majority. He, he took out Goku, man. Yo, he took out Escanor, bro. That man Deku did, was not playing. Like, this Deku, this Deku Mugen definitely, definitely light years better than the last one. 
he showed his 100% a little bit here and there. He definitely showed his 20% a lot. He showed a lot of his flashy moves. He did not show his ultimate though, and I will put that um, right now at the end of the video, guys. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy today's Mugen video, bro. This Deku, definitely still one of my favorites, along with like Dio and stuff like that, but um I, I i'm still <laughs> yo i'm loving it bro i'm loving it i'm loving it deku showed up in the last my hero episode and he showed up in today's mugen video i'm proud of my boy what else can i ask for